Let's talk about include, because I just realized one key thing that let me refactor a lot of my libraries to make them far more tidy. So, let's start from the start. There is this, um, yeah, there are these brackets that you can use. However, usually you would uh, include and then some file name, like file name uh, .hk. That's what you're used to. Here you specify either um, if file name existed, this would refer to basically it would have to be in the same folder. If not, the way you do this, let me remember that. So you do a line file, I think. Um, what is that? Hold on, let me fix something. All right, so line file, I think. Well, we'll figure it out more concretely. Then you go up two dots in paths, if you didn't know, means the top folder. So currently we're in the test directory. And if we use two dots, now we're in the main directory and say that file is there. But let's check just to be sure uh, what line file is, because as I remember, it's the line of the script. So line file. Now, uh, the full path and name to the file. So in this case, a line file is hktest.hk. So we go up um, and end up in test, actually. We would need uh, and another set of two dots to go to main. Okay, so that's how you usually use include. However, I don't really use that because I use a lot of libraries, most of which are my libraries. So I can use this syntax. And let me show you how to do that. So open your Explorer and uh, I have no, I actually don't. So let's go there together. We, you go to users, your username. I don't care about showing it on video. Doesn't really matter. Uh, then you go to documents. If there is an auto hotkey folder, great. If there isn't, create it. I think it's important that uh, A is capital and then H is capital. It might not matter, but it works for me this way. And if you don't want to check whether it is just name it the same exact way and then lib also with the capital letter huh well whatever so here you can put your libraries uh, all of them have to end with dot ahk i mean naturally but maybe you rename your scripts dot h2 still for some reason i explain in my install hk video why i don't have to anymore so here they are all of my libraries and there is even a folder this is actually what i learned but before this uh we can use include open that and here we go we have all the files in that folder now, this is actually called the standard library location. Uh, not really. Let's actually see what it's called correctly. Include. Uh, it's hard to see, honestly. Well, it's called something. And basically, you can put your scripts into that folder that I sh just showed you, or say I'm in test, 
I can create uh, a folder called lib, also starting with the capital letter, and put my scripts there. And then I can use this same syntax to include files in that folder. Uh, so first, say you have the same name for two libraries. One is in test, uh, one is in test lib, and it's called, uh, I know, SDF. And the same script with the same name in the standard uh, library place that I showed you here. First, it will look into the local one, so test lib, and then if it doesn't exist, uh, it will look here. Okay. Uh, now, the actual key information that I learned today is the fact that you can create a folder in your standard library location, be it the one in test. So basically, the folder that is in the same folder as the file you're including within. So test is in test, and lib should also be in test. This applies, obviously, for any folder at all. So if you are building your project and you want your dependencies to be included um, within that project without needing to refer to some odd, strange, uh, far folder, then you can use that. So we have the app folder and now I can include a file or a library that's in that folder. To show that off again, that's the folder and it has libraries as well. This is really big for organization because you don't have to put every single script or every single library in this folder and then have to remember all of them. No, you can have a folder that unifies them in some way. So in this situation, all of these libraries have the theme of being for an app. So a library for the terminal. Here it is, by the way. A uh, library for VS Code, for Telegram, for VK, for Spotify. Uh, some exceptions, obviously, shows isn't really an app, but kinda. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you can organize your includes that way. And here you go. Now you don't need to put every single thing into one script. And now you don't need to run multiple scripts. Pretty much at all. There are very rare exceptions to this rule but pretty much never do you have to run multiple scripts because you can just use include uh, and organize your stuff that way. All right, I hope this video was helpful to you and if it was, leave a comment, press a like, click subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.